Good evening, ladies. Welcome to Sharon's Nail Art and More. So right off the bat, I just want to apologize for any noise you might hear in the background. It's just my son and my husband. So most of this is a, another Dollar Tree haul. And um, I got also some polishes that were a reduced price from Sally's Beauty Supply and some nail art stuff. So I'm just going to start right here in the little tapes. As you can see, it's from Frozen. They're so, so cute. You can see the images, how it looks. I'm very sorry about my lighting. I'm actually using my husband's tablet because my son is always monopolizing my phone. And that's not really better than this, but just using what I got, you know? So that's that. I got the princess one with Cinderella, Ariel, and Beauty and the Beast. And these tapes are just adorable. I actually wish they came in like a thicker, longer size. But hey, you get what you get, right? So then I have the Mickey as well. These are really, really cute. I got myself another brush. And this is... The angled liner, but I just use it to clean up, like, polish if it gets on the finger, on the sides of the nails or whatever. Or to clean up, like, a stamp or if you don't want a certain part of the stamped image on there. I also picked this up. I had gotten a bunch of seeds a uh, little while back, and I just wanted to get some of the onion. So this is, like, the green onion stuff. I found these there. This was the last pack, and I plan on probably making these into like decorative clothespins that people could use in like their daily calendar or a journal or anything like that. I got some more tapes to add to my collection. I got this one. The cool, I already have this one, but I wanted to get, you know, you can never have too many. The cool things about these particular tapes is that this black lace part actually comes off of the roll itself. So it's hollowed where you see like all these holes in the decoration. So it's really, really pretty, really neat and unique. And I got this one and I have another one of these as well. This is green with the green glitter. Very pretty. That's a design. I know you can't see it well through here, but that's it right there. I got some of this because I have noticed I'm starting to get some fine lines under my eyes and that kind of makes me nervous so I wanted to try this out even though it's from the Dollar Tree can't lose right for a dollar uh, I got some nail stickers just to you know have them I'm not sure how good they are if anyone knows out there just if you could let me know what you think of them this one actually comes with a orange wooden stick a mini nail file and 20 nail strips those are really cute. Have like little rhinestones in them. I got these ones here. Glitter. This is like a, I want to say zebra pattern. Correct me if I'm wrong though. And that's like a holographic silver glitter on there. Most of them don't have the orange wood stick or file. This one is the green one with the zebra. Really pretty. Hopefully they work good. This was the only package of these here. So it has one sheet and there's 19 of them. I got this one here and this is like the, the silver, light silver with the holographic silver on top. You could actually feel like the glitter on it. It's like a texture, a glitter texture on top. This one here also has glitter. Really pretty. I love this one. And then this is very similar to that. It's like a, it's not picking up on camera, but it's like a light golden brown with pink, silver, and blue filled in cheetah spots or leopard spots rather. So moving on, I got these. I found these at Dollar Tree. I got these. This is what they look like right here. And it comes with 12. I know you ladies have seen those white kind of square or different shaped trays like this that people use and put their rhinestones or Swarovski crystals in so that it makes it easier to pick them up. This 
was only a dollar at Dollar Tree in the party supply section where you could get those bowls and those little spoons. So I'm like, I'm looking at it and I just, you know, the light bulb went out and I was like, I mean off rather, excuse me. Light bulb went off in my head and I'm like, how cool would that be to have 12 trays and I don't even have to pay an arm and a leg for a one white tray that I need to put my stones in. So this is really cool. If you ladies can go to your store and find it, like, trust me, this is the same exact thing and it's awesome for getting those little crystals and ones that are hard to reach. So that's that. I just got some containers because I have none left and I needed one the other day. So I just got one pack of that. I got a hole puncher because I don't have one and this is going to be good. I'm trying to get more crafty. So um, now that I'm feeling a lot better, I think it would be a good idea to start practicing like some arts and crafts stuff and kind of making swaps that I join uh, like more decorative looking because I know a lot of you ladies put a lot of effort into it and I just want to try and do that for y'all. So that's that. Um, I found, I have a bunch of the other Easter shapes too. The butterflies, the uh, rabbit. Um, what else did they have there? I have the St. Patrick's Clover one. I found these and I'm like, wow, they have tulip shaped ones. That's cool. So it's like six glitter ones and it's like a peach corally color. And then they have six of the regular plain ones. So, moving on to some bags here. I got some Easter goodie bags. And this one says, Happy Easter with the Bunny. I picked these up. These are really cool. I like the colors. And they kind of remind me of crayons. But they're like, you know, for uh, pointing out important messages or phone numbers in your journal or diary or wherever you want to put them. I thought they were really cute, and I think I could repurpose them for something else, possibly. I also got the ones that have the days of the week. These also have the days of the week. I like these because they remind me of, like, small little calendars. And I think that's what they're supposed to be, so. Moving on to stickers. Firstly, I got this one because it reminded me so much of, like, the classic Mickey, the old school Mickey, just by the colors and stuff. Obviously the original Mickey doesn't quite look this good, but it reminded me of it because of the um, kind of palish colors, the neutral colors. So that's that. And all the stickers I think are the same actually, because I looked through it. I got the little rainbow uh, dome stickers and the larger ones. I got three of these label stickers that you can kind of put around your mix, your glitter mix name to make it stand out. I know Missy Klipstein used uh, ones like these on the Alice in Wonderland swap, so these are really cool. I got one of these because that's all that they had with that one. I got two of these ones. They're really cute and pretty. I got two of these. I got three of these. Oh, I think I do have another one. I think this actually... Hold on. Oh no, it's different. Yeah, it's different. So I got one of this one and one of that one. I found one left of the football 3D stickers. I got some really cool labels. 60 of them. I also picked up two packs of these things with the weeks, the days of the week on it. Uh, the push pin ones and the paper clip ones. So those are pretty cute. I got these labels as well. You could actually write like your mix name right here and then your channel name on the other side. 
I found these and I fell in love with these. They're very 3D. They actually have a spring. See the spring right there? And they bounce up, like bounce up and down. Then there's that one there with the spring under it. How cute are these? I kind of wish I would have found more because I would have snatched them up, but that's all I could find was this one. I found these cute uh, half pearl hearts stickers. Really pretty. I found one more of these. Also 3D. I found the jean looking stickers. These aren't 3D, but they're they're textured like jean material. And I found these donut stickers. Holographic. Moving on to the Sally's stuff. I got this for 69 cents. It's a 240 grit, so I'm going to use this for, like, etching the nail plate because you don't want to damage the nail plate, you know? Also, I got these. They're just, you know, nail stickers. I got them for $1.29, as you can see there. They're really pretty. I like how they look on the nail. I also picked this up here, and this is, like, the white pearl chameleon shifting color. Like, you see how the bottle top looks? It's exactly like that when it's on a, like, over a top, over another color, excuse me. I also picked up more gelays in this color here, which is called Awakening. So focus. I'm shaking too much, sorry. And I got it in this color, which is called Purple Panic. I don't know why it won't. Oh, well. Anyways, they're both really, really pretty. And these are all colors that have been discontinued. So I'm just collecting, you know, the colors that are discontinued and are on sale and they've been reduced to four dollars and seventy nine cents but what's really good about that is not only is it more than fifty percent off the original price it's a gel that you use in LED or UV and on the one day or three days a month that they have the fifty percent off reduced items you'll get it for two dollars and thirty some odd cents plus tax so you can't beat that and I've gotten a lot of them like that I've also gotten a lot of the finger paint gel polishes like that as well so I just brought these over to share with y'all and really quick I mean this is just how I keep you know like my nail desk and stuff as you can see my cat like absolutely loves my nail chair and I'm getting so tired of it but these are a lot of the gel polishes acrylic paints I have in glow and neon and matte and acrylics and glitters and polishes and I need more room actually but uh that's just one place of many that I keep my stuff or I try to keep it neat it's just I have so many things and all of these here are filled with nail jewelry whether it be alloys or crystals or Swarovski crystals I just really just keep the important stuff over here a lot of you ladies glitter mixes and stuff like that so you know, I keep my clear acrylic powder in this and my liquid in here my dab and dish and I'm actually getting a new UV lamp so that's on its way hopefully I get it soon and that's about it I try and come over here and display the things on the table so you guys can get a better view of everything but that's pretty much it I've already been going on and on for almost 15 minutes so I'm sorry if this video was too long for you ladies um, but that's my haul and I hope you ladies enjoyed watching it. So until my next one, ladies, bye. Have a good night.